Good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Good afternoon, guys. Can you hear me? Please put a message in the chat on YouTube so that I will come to know that you guys are watching me right now. Can you hear me? Hello everybody, hope everybody is doing fine. Now before I start the session, please confirm on the chat box, can you hear me? Please ping on the YouTube chat box, can you hear me? I can see we are I request everybody to please ping on the message box of YouTube. Okay? Please let me know if you can see me clearly. Just say yes or no. Bhuvanesh, Shruti, Sheikh, Mohishin. Anas, Arvind, Yogesh, please ping on the YouTube chat and please confirm if you are able to hear me. So I cannot move further unless and until I get a confirmation from you guys. And the only way is the chat. In the chat box, please ping and let me know if you are able to hear me. I'm just waiting for your uh, you know, confirmation. Can you guys hear me? Can you see me clearly? Please ping. I'm waiting for you. I cannot move. <laughs> Hello? Oh, big more messages. That's why I was waiting for them. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. All right then, uh, thank you all very much you know, for joining this session. Let me begin this session with my introduction. My name is Kapil Raina. I'm the uh, product trainer with Automation Anywhere company. Okay, now this is a company uh, which has you know, developed this product called Automation Anywhere based upon the technology called RPA. Okay, now everybody is talking about RPA, you know, uh, you talk about any 
top new technologies, top 10 emerging technologies, you will find RPA has a place in that list. Okay. Every organization, you know, every student of the university, they want to learn this. But what is this RPA about? Okay. So first of all, I welcome each one of you for this session. The whole idea of this session is just to make you aware, you know, how important this RPA Automation Anywhere tool is, how important it is for you to learn in today's market scenario because after all we all are professionals right we want to learn new skills so that we grow professionally okay now we know that there are already thousands and thousands of technologies available right now in the market but rpa stands apart okay why and why is everybody talking about rpa what what is the difference you know let's understand this uh, the whole thing in this session now, as I said, the whole idea of this session is just to make you aware of this technology, how important this technology is in, in today's market uh, and how important it is for you to learn this. That's very important. You as an individual professional, whether you are a student or you are a corporate professional or whoever you are, how important it is for you, how helpful it is for you to grow professionally okay how does learning this will help you to stand apart from others okay how demanding you make yourself for the corporate world now, that's very important right that's why we all are here so let's understand this and let's embark on this beautiful journey and let me tell you at the end of the session you'll be really happy to have had you know entertain this session to you know be a part of this session I have something to talk about today, okay? Now, I hope you are able to see my screen. Is Automation Anywhere, which is RPA, okay? Now, RPA is not a programming language. This is what you need to first understand. It's not a, it's not a programming language. So, you can, you can just feel relaxed, okay? RPA does not include coding, okay? So, you can relax again. So there is no coding involved. See, I am, uh, you know, I have learned Java and I have done a lot of Java coding and I got frustrated. Let me tell you straight away. It's a frustrating job for me. Maybe for others, it's, you know, they enjoy it. But for me, it's horrible because coding is something not for everybody. Okay. It's only for small people of, you know, small section of people, you know, who enjoy that. So let them do. I'm talking about for those people who are doing coding, whether it's a Java coding or C hash, you know, we dot net or MS, you know, SQL database, you know, SQL queries, whatever you're doing. If you are not enjoying it, please look at this session. Now, as I said, RPA is, is it's not a software, you know, it's, it, it has nothing to do with coding. Okay? It's not a, a programming language. It's a technology. Okay. And what is this technology? Let's understand. Now, the agenda of this training, what I want to you know, cover is the first thing what I want to talk about is why RPA? RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. Why? Why should we talk about RPA? Okay. What is it? After understanding why RPA, then we have to go deep inside. All right, this is something there. So what is it exactly? We'll understand it at a ground level. And then once we understand what is RPA, then next question comes for the corporate world, you know, for big organizations. You know, why should we invest in RPA? Does it give any return? Sensible to invest in this technology? How does it help us? What are its benefits? Okay. And then, of course, we are going to talk about what, as you know, okay, as you might be already aware, as I said, RPA is a technology. Now, this technology is implemented by Automation Anywhere company and they have created their own product called Automation Anywhere. So it's like this, you know, if you want to do database, you know, SQL queries, you have different vendors for database. You have Oracle. You have MySQL, you have MSSQL, like that. 
but everything is around uh, structured query language right it's just a different branch you know which is in, which has implemented this technology it's like i want to buy a toothpaste i can go for colgate i can go for you know uh, uh, ayurvedic you know baba ramdev i can go for any any different close up okay so there are different brands but the item is same but the quality matters okay and why automation anywhere stands apart from other uh, major competitors or vendors like ui park or blue prism they have their own advantages and disadvantages we are just going to talk about that uh, i can see that uh, sometimes the screen is lagging okay so i will try to go a bit slow from my side so that you can see the you know uh, there is no lag on your side okay so you can concentrate more on what i'm speaking than what you because you know it, there might be some lag and there might be mismatch with what i'm talking and what you see on the screen so just put your attention on what i'm talking okay and in the meanwhile you can see on the screen as well so this is the agenda for today's session and let's go ahead let's go ahead now why rpa okay many of you you know you must have you know understood little bit on rpa or some of you might be old or some might be totally new to this layman layman understanding you know as if you are understanding it first time See, all of us okay all of us we work in organizations okay so we are called as workforce right we are called as a workforce and since we are all human beings we are called as human workforce okay so i can see there's a question uh, coming up you know which says what are the sub groups of robotics so just hang on uh, it will be clear to you uh, that's mr shrikant just hang on uh, we'll get back to that okay let's go slowly but steadily okay thank you so what is rpa now in a layman's uh, you know language uh it helps businesses to automate tasks see in any organization you will have many tasks to be executed now who does it you me the human workforce now can we have another entity another mechanism which will do the same job what we are doing but it will do it automatically okay that's what rpa enables you to do it it will it helps the businesses to automate the tasks with no human intervention or with minimum human intervention okay and then what happens is as a result of this okay it saves the time to execute that task the human efforts to execute that task okay and it will improve the overall productivity okay it improves the overall productivity that's what it is looking out for okay you have to remember this this is an rpa an overview what is rpa so we are not understanding what is rpa why rpa the reason why we have rpa is it helps the businesses to automate the tasks with a minimum human human intervention it saves time it saves you know the productivity and as a result of everything it saves the cost the operational cost saving is much much okay so that's the overall purpose of why we want rpa in industry so let me give you an example of uh, a manual process a manual process okay now every organization will have a set of business processes okay let me give you an example let's say you are from a bank okay in a bank we have different business processes so for example if you want to open an account in a bank that's a business process in domain now if you want to go for a bank loan that's another business process okay like this we have hundreds and hundreds of business processes and those business processes are executed by us the human workforce okay Now let me give you an example. Let's say I want to open a bank account. I go to the bank, and what do I do there? I go and fill up the form. 
the bank employer, uh, the bank employee, he will take all the details either on the paper or online, which will be their own portal. And then once the details are taken, details to make sure that whatever details you have provided, it could be your you know PAN card number, Aadhaar number, your KYC details, it will go for the verification. So this person will manually send it to the background verification team through an email. Okay. The background verification team will do the verification okay, of your KYC details again manually. And then once it is confirmed that all your details are perfect and valid, they will intimate the bank people through an email or through a telephone call saying fine. So they will manually send an intimation to the bank people again. And the bank people will intimate the customer again manually as somebody that is the bank employee, okay, and then inform the customer saying that the customer, you know, the account has been opened. So you can see this is the business process of a bank. So what is a business process? It is a collection of actions which are executed to perform and to achieve a common goal, right? We want to achieve a common goal. What is a common goal here? To open an account. So this is a business process. Like this, we have hundreds and hundreds of business processes in banking domain. We have hundreds and hundreds of banking, pro boom, you know, business processes in IT domain, okay, in pharmacy domain, in healthcare domain, in IT domain. You name a domain, you have a business process. Now, we RPA technology, it hits that business process. It wants to automate that. So, in this opening an account example, Instead of the human beings, let's say we have two to three people who are involved in this. Okay. If we automate this, the RPA technology will make sure that only one person will be able to perform this job. That means the number of people required to execute this business process of opening an account. Okay. The number of people is reduces exponentially. The time taken, let me tell you. Manually, it, it might take one day, but you know, uh, through RPA, it takes ha hardly half an hour or one hour. Okay, and as a result of all this, the error, the occurrence of error, the proneness to error comes down heavily because when a human workforce is involved, we as human beings are prone to technology. When we are talking about automation, it is near zero error, and as a result of all these benefits, what happens is the total operational cost, which is very important for any head of the organization, okay, the operational cost comes down heavily. So it is a big advantage for them, okay. So let me uh, give you another example of why RPA. So I hope you can see on your screen, if it is a delay, that's okay, I'm, I'm going to explain you. I have one uh, use case where we are talking about a medical claims process in an insurance company, okay? And uh, so typically, you know, yes, hospitalized and, you know, you pay the bills and everything. Now you want to reimburse those bills, bills, okay? So what do you do? So you, you have the customer claiming uh, the insurance, right? You and me, the customer, right? We'll go to the hospital and we'll submit all the bills. Now, again, you're doing manually. You're going to the hospital. You're submitting the bills to the person who is in the hospital. That person in the hospital will forward those bills to the insurance company person. Okay. And then the insurance company person, what will he do? Okay. He has to do something. Now, everything is done through a manual process. So, what does he do? You can see here. What he does is. The, the insurance company person, okay, he will he will take he will collect all your bills and he will manually insert that data on its computer, okay. Now before he goes for the reimbursement, he wants to check, okay. You can see he wants to check whether you know uh, the uh, whether you are eligible for the insurance or not, okay. In the second step. In the third step, what he will do is, he will once he is confirmed that you are eligible for this, what he will do is, he is going to make sure that all your data is uploaded onto their insurance company portal. Okay. And then in the fourth step, you will be called and all the reimbursement will be done. 
So you can see around two to three people are involved in this complete manual process. Now, can we automate this? And the answer is yes. Who will do that? RPA. So let's see what RPA does. So RPA will do this automation for you. Okay. Now, what is this also automation that it is doing for you? You can see you have all the bills available with you. With you. you can scan them. You can send that scan copy as an attachment through an email to the insurance company. Okay. Once the email is received by the insurance company person, the RPA automation will automatically read that email. It will automatically download the attachment of the bills. It will automatically read the data from that document. It will automatically upload those details onto their system automatically. Please remember, it will verify whether you are eligible for the medical insurance or not. And once it is verified, it will automatically extract all the data from your documents. It will put it in the database on a company portal and it will insert each of your details on a company portal fields one by one automatically and then an automatically an email will be sent to you where you will be informed that the reimbursement process is in the middle. So you can see everything is happening automatically. So as a result of this, you will have only one person who will be involved in this compared to manual process where you need at least three to four people. The time taken for manual process is maybe two or days or three days, but here in within a day or maybe within a few hours. And thirdly, you don't need people to manually type it on their website. It is automatically done. Okay. Ultimately, an email will be shot to the customer where he will be informed that the reimbursement is in process. It will take so and so much of time. You can see this is why we need RPA. So as a result of this, the number of people involved comes down. This is the operational cost. The time taken for the manual the automation process is much, much lesser than the manual. Third thing is the error. The proneness to error is much, much lower. It's almost zero. And ultimately, the operational cost goes down. This is the factor why every organization belonging to any domain they are looking out for in RPA. So this is what RPA does for you. Okay. Now let us understand what is RPA. Let's look at the definition of the acronym, you know, robotic process automation. Okay. Now what is robotic or uh, robotic process automation? Let's understand this. You know, let's understand this uh, uh, full form, you know, sort of automation process robotic. Let's start with automation. Automation means, means what? You are automating a process using a robot. You are automating a process using a robot. Now, what is a robot? It is not a three-dimensional structure which walks around your office and does the job on your behalf. It will not do so. As you can see the slide on your screen, it's not that robot what you are imagining. No, it's a software robot. A robot at the level of software. Okay. So, let's understand the, the meaning of each of these. So, the first thing is what it means what? It's a machine which mimics human actions. Robot, right? So whatever we order to the robot, it will do that for you. We have seen that in movies and real life also. Process. Process you already know. A business process. Every company, every organization, you know, they will have a business process. So what is a process? How do you define a process? As I already explained to you, it's a step-by-step -step sequence which can complete a task. Okay? So a process could be making a tea. The first step is add water, second step is add milk, another step is add uh, leaf, tea leaves, the fourth step is you know heat it up. So step by step process, that's the process. The third is automation. Automation means there is no human intervention. That's very important this. No human intervention or limited human intervention. Okay. So when I say RPA, it's completely automatic. No human intervention. That is RPA technology for you. Okay, so let's understand a little bit further. So if I combine the meaning of RPA, it's mimicking the human actions to perform a sequence of steps without any human intervention. That's RPA for you. Okay. Now, as I said, robotic process automation, the word robotic, that's a robot. Okay, so 
here we are not talking about that three dimensional physical robot we are talking about a software robot and we have you know excluded the name bot so bot is taken from robot so what is bot okay so in a simple definition a bot is a piece of program which performs a task for you without human intervention okay a bot is a piece of program which 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 executes a task without human human intervention that's what a, a bot means okay there is no human intervention as you can see uh somebody says it uses ai i have to tell you that the automation anywhere incorporates many ai technologies in rpa for example you know natural language processing okay many uh, ai technologies which are incorporated in this okay so please understand you know if you are think there is a collaboration of rpa and ai which has happened okay and you know all the iot's and all those things data data science, science and all everything is getting collaborated so rpa is like a platform on which you incorporate ai you incorporate iot you incorporate all the newer technologies which are related with artificial intelligence like natural language processing neuro linguistic programming you know so many of them, so many of those are there okay so let's understand a little bit more in details uh, as i said you know a bot uh, as i said you know a bot okay so bot is also called as a digital workforce so you and me are called human workforce and bots are called digital workforce and the digital workforce they work hand in hand in tandem with each other to perform a task okay so let's understand a little bit more about the digital workforce about the bots so what does a bot do okay it optimizes the labor cost which is very understandable is it not so if we have 10 people doing the job manually we have one person doing the job using the digital workforce it will bring down the labor cost heavily that is why it is one of the most attractive technologies today if you take the nascom the top 10 technologies is rpa if you take the you know if you uh, the study done by the forester okay forester is one of the biggest companies which does all the you know studies on artificial intelligence and you know rpa okay it brings down the labor cost okay it has an elastic capacity elastic capacity means you know uh, you know you can you can as and when needed you can automate more things or you can automate less things you can you know, elastic like elastic you can expand and you know contract it increases the speed accuracy and you know if you and me if we work with bots you know it helps us because if you if if my manager gives me a job which is repetitive in nature which is rule based it's a boring thing for me to do right so i will use the bot to do that for me it gives it boosts my morale right i don't want to do that repetitive jobs you know reading the data from excel and putting it on the website one by one doing that you know job what will you do okay now i can focus on certain things where you need thinking you know critical thinking where you need intelligence now bots cannot think bots cannot have an intelligence like you need know, spare time for such activities where you need intelligence now bots cannot think bots cannot have an intelligence like you need know, spare time for such activities which are very important for innovation right so if we spend more time on such activities you know more innovative ideas will come out right so then deliver you know the advantages or the benefits of digital workforce now as i said rpa is not a tool okay it's not a programming language it's a technology rpa is a technology and we need different rpa tools to automate the tasks that uses this technology okay you have to remember this rpa is a technology and we need different tools to implement this rpa technology now in the market you must have heard there are many big players of this rpa technology implementers there are big players okay so these are the some of the players that uh, we have today the major rpa tools that we have today is ui path you have blue prism you have automation anywhere now here i want to talk about automation anywhere 
Okay, and let me tell you, the automation anywhere stands far, far apart from the UI path and blue prism. And I'm going to tell you that with all the substantial proof that I'm going to talk about. Why it is important for you to learn automation anywhere and not UI path and blue prism, I'm going to convince you that. Okay, let me showcase you that. The question is, why? automation anywhere why not blue prism why not ui path you have to understand that see from a market perspective all these three tools you know they are being used okay now which is that technology which is that vendor whose product is used most widely that's number one because you know whatever is being used most widely that's the most popular and that's what you want to do okay uh, let me talk about this company so that you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about, why I'm emphasizing on automation anywhere only. It has a 17 plus years of innovation. This product was developed for past 17 years with all the R&D done on this. Okay. The automation anywhere has 4,000 plus enterprise customers. Now that's not a small number. That's a big number. Okay. That's not a small number. That's a huge number. 4,000 plus enterprise customers. You name a company, you name an organization, they are already using our product. Okay. You know, the top of the top cream companies of the world, they are using our product. I can name few. Okay. Ernst & Young. Okay. KPMG. Okay, you name a company. I'm going to show you the slides of the companies that are using our product. We have 2 million plus digital workers deployed right now as we are talking to each other. With this, you can understand that how many of our bots are being used in the companies. Okay, we have 1100 partners. Okay, and those partners include the big four largest DPOs, you know, the big four, you know, EY, KPMG. PWC, you name it and they have our product. It is spread across 90 plus countries, the Automation Anywhere product. We have 1 million plus people trained on Automation Anywhere. And hopefully very soon you are going to add to this number. And I want you to add to this number because it is going to change your professional career. 159,000 eight people community members, all right? So we, Auto Automation Anywhere has a community where people go and register themselves and interact with each other in every, uh, you know, uh, about any topic, you know, uh, technical, non-technical. And we have, you know, Automation Anywhere has 3,000 plus employees worldwide. Uh, this slide just gives you an idea, the kind of customers that we have, okay? You can see here, we have customers from, you know, uh, you know, banking, financial system, and insurance from engineering, from pharmacy domain, from communication domain, high technology domain, oil, energy, and utilize utilities, manufacturing. You can see, you can see yourself on the slide, uh, you know, the kind of customers that we have. You have City Bank, Society General, Huawei. You know, Huawei is very uh, uh, much talk of the town nowadays, and you know very well why it is. Uh, LinkedIn, you know, Qualcomm. IBM, Verizon, Airtel, Bosch, okay, you name a company, Pfizer, Certis, I mean, you just name a company, they already are using our product, why? That's the question you need to ask yourself, why are they using automation anyway? Because it has benefits which are much beyond than other tools, okay? So, uh, what is a digital workforce? You know, if you ask what is the digital workforce of automation anywhere? It's it just like, uh, you know, it replicates and mimics the work of a human being, okay? It operates independently. It's, it's just like an another employee. The only difference is I'm a human being and that's a robot. That's the only difference. It does the same thing, what we do, okay, but in a more efficient way, in a faster way, okay? Uh, it, has an, it, it, it has its own employee ID. It, it has all the similar managerial oversight. And it is just like a human being, okay? That's what a digital workforce is all about, okay? So a digital workforce is the natural evolution of labor arbitrage. Labor arbitrage, buy a labor, get the job done and release the labor, okay? So something like that. 
So what we have done using DWFS, that is digital workforce, we have what human beings used to do, the repetitive job, the rule-based decision-making job, okay, all those kinds of jobs, which is like a robotic job. That job is given to the robots, okay, the bots. And what has happened is it has taken the bots, it has taken the robot out of the human beings. Is it not? It's something like that. It's a metaphor. It has taken the robot out of the human being. Okay. And hence it enables the computers to do what they were supposed to do. Now another, see, the, the reason why I'm showing you these slides is for understand the importance of this automation anywhere RK2. Now when you join any company with this skill set, you know, you will be given the use cases, the projects which you need to implement. Now, when you are using automation anywhere, you need to understand its importance that how widely this tool is used to automate different business processes across multiple domains. Okay. So there is a question from Srikant who says, okay, just hang on. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Give me a call after half an hour. I'm in the middle of something very important. Please call me after some time. Uh, apologies. I think uh, there is a question from uh, Sri Kant who says uh, RPA technology depends on software side or hardware side, like building. Now, RPA is a software technology. Okay. It's a software technology. And you you need to have the prerequisite software for this and prerequisite hardware for this. Okay. Then there's a question from Yogesh who says, can you please tell us about any one of the RPA tool and how it works? Yeah, this I'm going to show you the automation anywhere tool. You know how how it is. I'm going to talk about that, which is what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm not talking about RPA tool. Okay. Whatever slides you saw, it is only about Automation Anywhere RP. I'm not talking about Go path or Blue Prism. And uh, can you show the interface and tool of automation? Definitely, Arvind, I'm going to show you the tool, everything I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to build a bot also. Don't worry. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. So you can see the screen. You know, it talks about, uh, you know, different use cases like record to report. Have an, uh, you have a logistic company, okay, you know, who will have the invoices of the Customer. They need to read that data, they need to put it in Excel file, and then they need to inform the customers back. You know, all those things can be automated. So, procure to pay, order to cash. We have so many things that we can automate. But let me talk about automation anywhere. Okay, here I'm going to talk about automation anywhere product. Okay, the automation anywhere product will offer you three platforms. Number one, as you can see on your screen, or you will see in, in a few seconds, maybe because of delay. Uh, uh, there is something called as Enterprise RPA Platform. This platform is used to automate the business processes which are rule-based. Are you understanding what is a rule-based? Rule-based is something like this, you know. Uh, if, you, if you know, you know, in our school and college, we have studied that flow chart. In that flow chart, it, it, it has the start the position and then there is an arrow and then there is a first process. Like, you know, uh, what do you want to do, okay? If it is yes, you will take another path. If it is no, you will take another path, right? So there are only two options, yes or no, right? So this is called rule-based. So if you process, which is just like this rule-based, you can automate that using RPA platform, okay? And which is repetitive in nature, okay? Any task which is repetitive in nature. For example, if I have an Excel file which contains, you know, 50 rows. So what I want to do is I want to read the first row of Excel and I want to insert data on a website. Okay. Now I want to read the second row, put it on the website. Third row, website. Fourth row. So this is a repetition. First row, second row. So if you have a business process which deals with a repetitive task, you can automate that on Enterprise RK platform, which we provide you. The second platform is one of the most popular platform is called IQBot. Now, IQ bot is are called intelligent bots. Now, this is where the artificial intelligent technologies are embedded with this IQ bot platform. Okay, so you have machine learning, 
which these bots will learn. So machine learning is incorporated with what? all the AI technology like natural language processing. Okay, uh, it will it will process the documents. Okay, it will read the data from the documents and it will put them in a particular you know in a particular format. So you know when we talk about uh, data, so there are three kinds of data. So one is called structured data, data which is totally structured. Example, Excel file. So in Excel file, you have a column, you have the row, and it's very neat and clean. You have cells. First row, first column, the data is neat and clean. We call it as structured data. Semi-structured data example is a PDF file. If you have seen a PDF file, even it consists of you know uh, the tabular data, graphical data, paragraph. It is somewhat structured, not completely structured. So we call it as a semi-structured. The third one is unstructured, totally unstructured. Example, the chatting which you are doing right now on YouTube, right? Whatever you are writing on the unstructured data. Uh, whatever email you send, the body of the email, unstructured data, and the attachment you send, that's an unstructured data. So IQ bot targets semi-structured data, that's PDF file documents. It processes the documents, which means it extracts the data from the PDF files and put it, put that in the Excel file. Okay, that's an AI technology. Then third one and the last one is bot inside. So bot inside is like you have an Excel file which contains some data. You want to process this data and you want to display it in the form of pie chart or a graphical chart or some report formation, right? So we use bot inside. So what this bot will do is all you have to do is feed it with an input file. It will automatically create the report and it will show it, show it showcase it to you automatically. Okay. So these are the different platforms that we offer. Now, why RPA? Okay, that's a question. Why RPA? Now please understand that RPA. Uh, why automation anywhere RPA okay now you need to understand that automation anywhere is offering you its latest version of software it is called enterprise a2019 okay as you will see that on your slide on your screen a enterprise a2019 because you now what is this enterprise a2019 now we use this uh, software to automate the business processes now the best thing about this is that it is completely, it's completely, purely cloud. Now do you understand that? It is completely cloud based, which means if you want to start board building right now using Enterprise A2019, you don't have to install any software on your machines. All you have to do is open the browser, enter the URL of the cloud, and log in and start building the bots. Just like your Facebook, what do you do on Facebook? You type, you enter the credentials and you access the services of Facebook, right? Exactly what an enterprise A2019 will do for you is just log in, start building the bots. No software installation. Now this is, this is called pure native cloud base. There is no other vendor which provides you this cloud base. UI Prism, UI Path, Blue Prism, they don't provide this. No other vendor, only automation. Only automation anywhere provides you. So you can see, you can access that cloud. You can see on the right hand side, you have this cloud formation in which you have all the different applications of automation anywhere, which can be accessed through what? It can be accessed from a device. You can see on the left hand side, uh, access from any device. It could be mobile, a tab, or a desktop. Uh, it passes all the communication through secure public and private network. So what you need to understand is it's purely, you know, uh, uh, based upon the uh, cloud. And you will have one particular platform, you know, which is uh, used by, you know, uh, many uh, of the uh, different types of users. You have business user, you have developers, you have IT users. Okay. Now, before I show you, showcase you a small demonstration of this particular tool, I just want to talk about briefly on the benefits of why cloud matters. Please understand, if you want to use any software, what is the first thing you do? You have to install it on your computer, is it not? And then you have to make sure that you have the uh, software prerequisites with you. You need to have a particular Windows operating system, you know, particular version. Then you need to have all the softwares available, you know, prerequisite softwares. You also have to make sure that you have a prerequisite hardware. You know, your hardware RAM should be 5 GB or 10 GB. If you don't have, then you're stuck. What will you do? 
you can't do anything. But A2019 Automation Anywhere helps you. You don't, you just need a basic computer with basic configuration, log into the cloud and start building the bots. So ease of adoption is much easy. Okay, mobility is easy, very easy. You can work from the laptop, from the tab. Business agility, that means you can you, you can you can incorporate the latest uh, technology in that. Deploy the you know software instantly. Okay, like let's say you you today you decide you want to build the bots, you can start from today itself. Unlike in other softwares and other vendors, you have to install the software, which may be of huge you know size, and then so many things. Uh, lower TCO. TCO means total cost of the ownership, which means you don't have to invest a lot. Okay, you don't have to buy the software and then have the buy the hardware, buy the RAM, do this. So you a lot of expenses required, right? With other uh, vendors, but with automation anywhere, you just need a browser and connect with the cloud. And high scalability. You, the high scalability is one of the unique features of automation anywhere. Let's say today you are using the bots. And you are implementing the bots on 10 machines. Uh, tomorrow, in an organization, you want to implement 100 machines. So you can easily do that. You can bring those 100 machines, connect with the network, and start executing the bots. So the scalability is very high, which is very important for any organization to have. Because if there's a problem with scalability, now that's an added expense which any organization wants to avoid when they buy a software. They want to make sure that the scalability should not be an issue in the future. And automation anywhere eradicates that problem. Uh, Arvind Srinivas says, is it open source? Uh, let me tell you that the automation anywhere, you know, believes in sharing the knowledge. Okay. So for that reason, we have provided for the public users a community edition. So you can download the community edition on your machine and you can start working on it. Okay. Then there is a question from Shruti. Uh, what kind of tools will be provided in cloud to build bot? So you will be provided with the application. You can build IQ bots, RPA platform, and bot inside. All the three, you can use them. Okay. But yes, of course, you cannot use community edition for your corporate use. Because if you start using that for corporate use, we as the company, is it not? So nobody will buy from us. They will use. So community edition has its own limitations. Okay. But we make sure that if, if anybody wants to learn that, okay, if you want to learn and become an expert, community edition is more than sufficient for you to learn. Okay. At corporate level or student level. Uh, Ashwin says, is that we need to pay for cloud services to work we have community edition available for you. If you are a single user, you want to learn it. For learning purpose, we have community edition. But if you belong to an organization, then of course you have to buy the license version, which is called the enterprise version. So there are two things. Community version, enterprise version. Community version is for public users. It's like an open source thing. Enterprise version is for corporates where you have to buy the license. Okay. And then uh, Munir Basha, he says, what is the difference between UiPath versus Blue Prism versus... Uh, see, I won't, we don't have time to differentiate between them. But definitely, I'm going to tell you how beneficial it is than other vendors. So as you can see on my screen, uh, if you belong to, you know, an organization, and if you are thinking from organizational perspective, you can see the infrastructure cost is you know 10 to 20 percent reduction so between 10 to 20 percent cheaper than you know uh, your other uh, uh, what do you say other rpa solutions okay development and deployment cost is 25 percent to 27 percent reduction maintenance and support is 50 percent lesser than ui path and blue prism training cost is 25 percent less 25 percent less reduction License costing is 26%, you know, less than 26%. So overall, you can see it is much, much better. So you can see on this uh, slide, uh, it talks about the, you know, the overall cost, okay? And you can see the automation anywhere cost is much lesser than the blue prism and UI path, okay? So this is in terms of the deployability and the cost of ownership and all those things. What about the learning perspective, okay? What about the learning perspective? 
let me just showcase you. Okay, let me just showcase you. Uh, has anybody worked on automation anywhere? If anybody has worked, please uh, ping that on the chat box so that I become aware of it. Can you just ping once? If anybody has worked on automation anywhere, whether it is A2019, that is the latest version, or just the previous version, which is called version 11. Has anybody worked? Can you please ping once? Uh, there is another question in the meanwhile from Ayush. Can we automate multiple processes at a time in RPA? Can we automate multiple process? I didn't get the question. Autom I mean, we can automate anything. But when, I, when I'm automating one thing, I can automate only one thing. Okay. So I hope I got your question. Uh, Chaitu Chaitanya. Uh, can you suggest best source for learning UI path from scratch? Chaitu, you know, I am an ambassador for automation anywhere. And I would like to say you that please learn automation anywhere. I don't want you to suggest to learn UI path or Blue Prism. Because automation anywhere is one of, you know, if you, if you don't, please go to the Google and find out for yourself. The UI path is just you know in terms of the investment it is a little more but the popularity the features which automation anywhere provides that no one provides and the biggest you know example is that automation anywhere is cloud based ui path is not cloud based blue prism is not cloud based okay so i can see some people have worked on version 11 Okay, so what I'm going to showcase you, I'm going to show, I'm, I'm going to show you a small demonstration of Automation Anywhere version 11. Okay, and then I will show you the RPA also. So I want to show you how easy it is to, you know, uh, to develop this, you know, to develop this bot. Okay, so let me just showcase you a small uh, the use case. And this use case uh, is basically, it talks about, uh, you know, let me just show you here. So you can see I have this website. So I, I'm, I'm just showing you this example for people who are new to this, okay, who are totally new to this. Uh, some people might be already aware, but that's fine. Uh, so Chaitu, thank you. Uh, yes, please go ahead with Automation Anywhere. It's a wonderful tool for you to learn to start with. And let me tell you, if you learn one tool, you can easily learn other tools. So start with automation anywhere. Okay. Thank you, Chaitu. So I hope uh, uh, you are able to see my screen and I can delay. But anyways, uh, let me start. Uh, you know, uh, let me see if you... Uh, uh, can you see uh, the screen uh, on your... Uh, can you see the Automation Anywhere Enterprise Client screen? Uh, can you just uh, say yes if you are able to see uh, the screen Automation Anywhere Enterprise Client? Just say yes. So can you please show us a demo how to make a bot? Yes, sir. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. So here I go. So you can see on your screens, uh, this is the UI. The UI of Aut Anywhere Enterprise version 11. So most of our customers are using this screen right now, okay? 90% of our customers. And 10% they have started moving to the A2019, which is just started, okay? It's not yet uh, you know, in a full swing, but what you have in full swing is this one, what you have on your screens. Now here, this is a UI. I'm gonna show you how to build a bot. Now, what I want to do is I want to automate a screen, okay? So where is the screen? The screen is this one. So on my Internet Explorer browser, I have opened a website called SurveyMonkey website, which contains some text fields. Okay. Now, if there is a business process where you need to fill up the details on this website, you have to do it manually. So what is the first detail? So this is a website which talks about the employee details. It is extracting the employee details and it wants to store those details in the company website. So what is the first field it is asking is, what is your first name? Uh, please do a little bit zoom. Uh, I'm not sure if we can do anything on YouTube. 
don't worry about it uh, just understand the flow or what you can do is maybe you can use the magnifier on your screen and zoom it because i don't have any option from my side to zoom it i i apologize for that ayush but uh, maybe you can use magnifier on your screen and maybe you can you know see it more properly if you are not able to see it but anyways uh, uh, if our team is uh, listening to this in the background maybe if you can do anything from your side and if you cannot then uh, i think we have to continue this so what we you can see this is a website and here we want to enter any detail like you know first name uh, okay and then name and then what is the gender okay mail i will click using the mouse and then which country you belong to so i will use india okay and uh, what is the date of birth is what you have, what, is, what is the date of birth that you have so i am going to enter so you can see i am entering everything manually okay everything is manual process so just give me a moment please okay so and then what i'm going to i'm going to click on so you can see i'm filling up this form manually and i'm submitting the data manually onto the survey monkey database so after filling all the details on this website i will click on the submit button now when i click on the submit button what happens is that it will tell you and it will acknowledge you saying that thank you very much for the survey okay and you will get this particular information on your screens okay now i want to automate this whole process now how to okay so what i will do is i will build a bot so how to build a bot you can see on the left hand side there is a new button click on that and you can see a window will pop up in this you can see there is a option called as workbench on workbench you can see it will open a screen which is called as workbench screen so the workbench screen is what you need to you know build the bot upon so you can see in a moment's time it will show you a workbench and you can see the workbench screen has popped up so this screen is called as workbench okay and uh, what you see on the left hand side you can see something on the left hand side okay now these are called commands you can scroll up and down these are called commands okay we use these commands to build a bot okay now we use these commands to automate any business process let's say in a business process you are accessing a database so there is a database command in the business process you are sending an email or receiving an email you have an email automation command okay in a business process you are trying to open a website a browser command so there are 400 550 plus commands which you can use to automate any business process so let me automate one quickly for you so i want to build a bot which will automatically insert the data on this survey monkey website automatically now how to build it so people from java background you know this is a good thing for you now when you build a bot you are not doing any coding okay all you do is drag and drop okay so what is a drag and drop i'll show you now what you have to do is when you are building a bot you have to train the bot step by step okay you have to train the bot step by step okay uh One second, just give. I think there is a question. I understood. You can see text in the video for the inserting portion of. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Fine. Okay. So now I want to. Uh, so when you are building the bot, the bot is like a child. You have how you train a child. You know you have to show the child everything step by step. Same thing. You have to build the bot step by step. So what you do is, the first thing what your bot should do is it should open a browser. Okay. Now to open a the browser, there is a command. 
on the left hand side there is a command called open browser you can see on the left hand side now what i will do is i will drag this on the right hand side and i will drop it and leave the mouse okay when i leave the mouse you can see it opens the window where it is asking me in the step number one url to open so which url you want to open so what you do is you simply copy this url which you want to open survey monkey url and you paste it here so you are telling the bot please open this url for you that's the first step and then click on the save button very simple all i did was drag and drop drag and drop when i click when i click on save button you can see something is printed over here this is called the line of code okay and this line of code is numbered starting with one okay now please understand this is called you know building the bot you are not coding anything you are simply doing drag and drop drag and drop that's it no code here now the next thing what i want to do is i want you to uh, you know i want uh, i want bot to automatically identify this first field and then insert the text so what bot to do is it should identify the field of the first name and the second thing it should do is it should insert the text there what text whatever is the first name that's what i want it to do so for that what i will do is there is a very robust feature in automation anywhere which is called object cloning okay object cloning is a feature what it does is it will basically identifies this text field and then it it takes an action on that field okay so here i go so object cloning just drag and drop it over here now it is asking you on which windows explorer you want to automate so you have to click on drop down and select the window name the window name is employee details survey that's the website which is open in internet explorer browser right so i have selected that now what you have to do is you can see there's a capture button capture means it is capturing what is it capturing it is capturing the object details of this particular field okay so if you are if you are an if you are from a web designing background you know this web page is developed using html okay and every uh, you know text field or a radio button they have a unique set of properties so each of these are called objects this is called a text field it's an object this is a radio button this is an object this is a drop down this is an object right so each of these are called objects and every object has a unique set of properties which means the properties of the first field first name is different from the object properties of the last name is different from the object properties of the radio button right so the automation anywhere you know uses this feature so now what we will do is we are going to capture the object properties of the first text field which is what is your first name how to capture click on this capture button and hold on to your mouse don't leave your mouse okay i am not leaving my mouse i am still clicking it so what you have to do is bring your mouse on top of the first field if you see the first field is getting highlighted in red it means it is ready to capture its properties so what you do now is release the mouse you will see it comes back to the window and you can see on the left hand side all these uh, object properties are captured now the second thing is what do you want to do select the action so the action i want to select is set text and it will ask you what text you want to set you can set any value you can type that value here and click on save okay you can see when i save it the second line of code is generated so this is how the coding is done in automation anywhere all you have to do is drag and drop drag and drop so let me do it for the others one also quickly here so if i click on drop down click on capture capture the second field simple click on the mouse hold the mouse it comes back take the action set the text okay then again drag and drop the command okay select the window click on capture select the radio button whichever radio button you want to select release the mouse okay so easy it is to do what action you want to do on the radio button click click is the action you want to do right okay and then again object cloning drag it drop it select the window click on capture 
okay you have to make sure that this red color is highlighted okay make sure this red color is highlighted okay and then select the action now here it's a drop down which contains a list of items so you have to choose the action appropriately so choose select item by text okay choose item by select item by text and since you want to hard code india you can see in the drop down the india is already there so all the list of countries are already captured so you just simply have to select that country name and click on save and finally the date of birth so easy drag and drop no coding involved simply drag and drop you click on capture I capture this date of birth like this okay click click on set text so let me put the date of birth as this one it's so easy it is to do okay so easy and finally for submit button also you have to automate this so what will you do you use object cloning object cloning command is used to automate any website web based application or desktop based application click on capture you so you have to capture the submit button also you can see the boundaries are getting highlighted in the red color okay only when it gets highlighted in red color you have to release the mouse so here the action is simply click okay and save that's it we are done the bot is ready okay you click on the save button on the top you name the bot okay the bot is ready to execute now what i will do is whatever i did manually over here the bot is going to do automatically so first thing is i'm going to close this browser and i am going to run this bot the expected output is that this bot will open the internet explorer with the specific survey monkey website it will automatically start inserting the uh, data in in all those fields automatically and it clicks on submit it does that automatically so here i go i click on the run button on the top green color button and you can see in the bottom right hand side corner a runtime window will start appearing which means the bot is in the middle of execution and you can see it has opened the browser it has started inserting the data in each of these fields one by one you can see it is doing it very fast and it has finished it okay it has finished it and then it says thank you very much for the survey that's an acknowledgement from the survey monkey website okay so this is your automation this is your bot this is what a bot does for you okay and before i wrap up this session i just want to quickly show you on the a2019 version okay you can see a2019 version uh, is something like this all you need is because it's a cloud based you just need a url you open the browser okay enter the url it will ask you for the credentials enter the credentials and click on login so when you click on login it will it will it will come onto this website and you can see there, there there are a lot of changes in the ui compared to the version 11 but the fundamentally commands are the same and we have added some new uh, commands also so you can see here uh, this is the editor screen okay and you can see on the left hand side you have all these commands we call them as actions and there are many new commands which we have added now you can see the display there are three displays flow flow is just like your flow chart where you have start and end then you have list list means what you saw in version 11 those lines of code which are numbered dual means you will have both flow chart and the list so uh, this is also quite easy same simple thing you have to do is drag and drop let's say you want to uh, you know drag this message box simply drag and drop it here on the right hand side it will say the message box details you enter them uh, whatever you want to display in the message message box is your pop-up okay and then you click on save and then you run the bot and the bot will run it will give the output okay so this is your a2019 which is cloud based you can see uh, in like in v11 you don't have a standalone application okay here it is totally browser based in a2019 so what i'm suggesting all of you is please come and join me in learning this automation anywhere rk tool it is one of the hottest technologies that we have today it is a must learn if you are a java developer 
if you are a dot net developer if you are an sql administrator let me tell you if you are an rpa developer you are on a higher side you are on a, you are on a higher scale in terms of the hottest technology and in terms of the pay package and let me tell you automation is going to decide the future of work no more manual process everything is automated this is you can see there is no coding involved here there is no syntax no code typing nothing everything is drag and drop so easy to learn so easy to automate any business process given to you it is so much interesting one of the hottest technologies it will be there for in the future and it is in great demand and let me tell you their companies are finding very hard to find the rpa skill set people in the market so that's why when any company starts an rpa project what they do is they find people within their own own companies they cross train them and give them the projects but the problem is if you have a if you have a java programmer who is being cross trained on rpa they will you they will lose an, a, a java resource and that is something they are very you know uh, critical about so they prefer the new hires from the market so please skill up yourself understand this rpa and let me tell you once you join my training i will make sure that your foundations are strong because this training is not me talking and you listening this is a completely hands on training where i am going to give you a hands on training where you will be involved i will be show, simply showing you one example you will be doing it yourself you will be continuously interacting with it and let me tell you in 3 to 4 days you will have a very good confidence to start any project so please join me for this course it will change your life because enough of java coding because i personally don't like java at all yes if you are java lover please go ahead with this but at the same time you can add this skill set also this is a wonderful technology you know in my experience i have started my career as a java developer i have learned java i have worked on spring hibernate core java js j2 double e enterprise i have gone through all that mess but let me tell you the rpa is the fantastic technology so easy to do the development you know it's so easy and very much interesting that's very important if you enjoy what you like you will go higher and higher professionally in your life so let me take up some questions that we have uh uh there is arvind shrinivas who says the objects captured will consume a lot of memory right in case of big projects how this is overcome now please understand that uh you know when we capture those objects okay now those objects which are captured need some data so we have something called as virtual memory which the automation any was software will create for its own self so it will make sure that there is no overload of memory okay that's why we have some prerequisites of ram okay to have so that we can uh, store those object properties in place so when it is capturing the properties it's not capturing the whole mess it is capturing only limited data which it needs to automate that's all because in html you will have different uh, object properties you will have you know so many properties it will not capture all it will capture only minimum which is required for automation so it takes care of that so uh then there is another question from uh when will you start the training sir munir basha so munir uh, i think you need to get in touch with the let's upgrade you know get in touch with people you know whom you are in touch with so they will help you out you know uh, to uh, register yourself and we can have training on uh and then we have yogesh don't worry we are coming up with that okay so yogesh is already giving you all the information on the courses okay uh you need to join the community which the which yogesh has already given you the link please join that uh, link and you know register yourself uh so and uh, and the prices are very much affordable okay so i suggest you i recommend you please understand this you know i have 12 plus years of it experience i have gone through a typical software developer i know what it means you know let me tell you you know i love rpa development because you can see the way rpa development is done you know we just showed you how to build a bot back and drop that's all 
That's all. It's so simple, but very powerful. Very powerful. And there is a great, great demand in the market for RPA technology. I'm telling you. Now, a lot of people come to you. You they say, okay, don't go with automation anywhere. Go with UI path. No, don't go with don't go with UI path. Go with uh, Blue Prism. So you will get a lot of questions. So what I suggest to you is, see, I uh, you know I suggest to you automation anywhere. Okay, because uh, you know if you see any organization when they buy our product, they already have UI path. Understood? They already have Blue Prism, but they buy automation anywhere also. So you are safe on that side. If you know any one of the technology, you can get a job, good job. But the problem is, the automation anywhere provides you those features which are very popular with our customers, and they automate more and more. They, they automate their business processes more with automation anywhere than UI path and you know Blue Prism. So they need more automation anywhere skilled people. Okay, and as I said, one of the greatest benefits of uh, automation anywhere is that. It is totally cloud-based, and today, in COVID times, okay. No, so let's say if I, I belong to an organization and I buy a license from Automation Anywhere, I need to go to office and install the software, right? We don't have to do that in in COVID times or in near future. You know, everything is cloud-based. So there are a lot of advantages of Automation Anywhere over the UI path and Blue Prism, okay. So I would suggest you. If you are thinking to learn, please learn automation anywhere. From the experience I had from the customers, from my partners, you know, I had traveled world over. I had traveled to deliver trainings to uh, our customers. I've been to Hong Kong. I've been to Singapore. I've been to Dubai. I've been to you know, Thailand. I have interacted with customers. Okay, and they have always given a good feedback about automation anywhere. And you can do your own R and D in Google if you want to have a deeper view of this. But I suggest you please go with automation anywhere. It will change your life. It's very simple. It's very easy to learn. That's the best thing. If you want to learn core Java, you you know how difficult it is. It's very difficult. You need to spend a lot of time. But let me tell you, if you in three days you can you can get a good confidence. In one week you will be ready to, you know, go for any interviews. I can tell you that. Okay. Just come to my session, come to my training. I will help you. I'm going to showcase you the examples, the use cases, the hands-on training, because you know I interact with organizations, so I know what they're doing. I have worked on the POCs. I know how they develop, what they develop. You can get all those ideas, which will help you to get a job or to help you to go to move a different project with RK requirement skill set. Okay. So this is what I want to tell you. So I think that's all uh, I have from my side. Uh, thank you all very much for attending this session. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your patience. And please register yourself. Yogesh has shared with you. Please register yourself, and we'll be starting it very very soon. So grab this opportunity. Make use of this because it's on affordable prices. If you go outside. The prices are very, very huge. Just to give, just to give an example, just to give an example, I train our customer for three days training. We, as the Automation Anywhere product owner, we charge them six lakhs of rupees, six lakhs rupees for just three days with customer. Okay, so you can if you and if you go outside in different training institutes. They charge you hefty amount. We are not going to charge you that much. We will give you quality at the lowest price. And once you finish the course, this training with me, it is worth spending every penny for this training. Thank you all very much.